we spoke with three of the schools that took part in our pilot phase to find out why allergy care is so important to them. Listen to find out more. I'm Tracy Dunn and I'm head teacher of Fitzmaurice Primary School in Bradford-on-Avon. My name is Jeremy Kenyon. I'm the facilities and estates manager at Tunbridge Grammar School. Well, hello, my name is Karen Cragg. I'm a registered nurse and I work at Wormslow High School in Cheshire. We're a large secondary school, 2,100 students. And I've been here for about 10 years. Because when you look at allergies, other children might think that, that that person has that problem and it's their responsibility. And other than that, they don't need to know. But really actually finding out that information and just giving that general awareness of you know, how to avoid an incident and how to help your friend and work with them in the best way possible. And then, of course, if something does happen, how to use an auto injector if they really need it. It, it comes along and it is that sort of obvious, oh, why didn't I know this before? As, as a school, we are keen to kind of get out there in front and try new things. We have a, a large group of young people and I know from speaking to their families, they have similar worries and concerns as I do. So we're constantly trying to think of ways that we can improve what we deliver and we feel Anakit and what it's going to be offering us is certainly one part of that. It's helping us deliver seamless support to these young people. I think having the kits in school um, is is essential. Auto injectors are life saving, and um, who knows when allergy is going to or anaphylaxis is going to strike them, and, and and hopefully it can be prevented. But if it can't be prevented, and the auto injector is needed, then we've got those kits ready to go. Having um, somebody if you like, shoulder some of that responsibility for making sure that you, the kit is always in date, that kit is always ready to go, um, is part and parcel of that package that, that you're offering. So well, that's really well. And part of my role is I am the health and safety coordinator uh, for the school. Um, you know, and that's a, a, a very weighty responsibility. Um, you know, when I have the, the health and safety of of 1200 young people plus staff and visitors uh, to the school um, and it's something that we need to take very very seriously. Is there a likelihood of um, uh, people who are susceptible uh, coming into contact uh, with allergens? Yes there is uh, and I'd say that's you know a, a, a quite a high likelihood. If someone is susceptible and comes into contact with an allergen um, as you know the, um, the results could be um, you know really catastrophic. We had gone down the road of purchasing uh, some generic um, uh, uh, adrenaline pens, um, but you know, as, as you yourself know, supply chain is always a major issue. Um, actually, trying to get the stock in, it has a limited shelf life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, you know, when we were first introduced to you know the concept of uh, an organisation like yourself actually managing that whole process actually having a structure in place that we can have a separate system that records details of those affected, um, allows us to monitor uh, the dates of uh, student EpiPens that we are holding. It was a significant attraction for us was we can pick up the phone and we can have um, you know, stations on the wall and whenever we use an EpiPen, then we know that um, you know, it will be replaced in, in a matter of days as opposed to weeks or even months. We're building an all-in-one life-saving subscription service for schools. To find out more, go to our profile.